this animal that smells fecal and put it in a really expensive perfume. Greetings, party people. Today, oh, I'm so excited. Um, so my most popular video of all time, shockingly, is my fragrance collection video, which is actually one of my least favorites. I worked really hard on that video, but I was really disappointed how it turned out. But everyone seems to love it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to uh, redeem myself a little bit. I'm going to do my top 10 favorite fragrances. I wanted to do an updated fragrance collection video because I've gotten a handful more uh, perfume since I posted that one back in like October but I'm gonna wait till I get a few more and then do like maybe a whole nother full one and I already looked up all the notes and everything so I will know what to talk about this time I went on fragrantica.com which is one of my favorite and most visited websites and I wrote down all the notes and everything for all of these perfumes I have here in front of me I'm gonna start with my favorite of absolute all time. My fiance got this for me as a anniversary present last year. This is the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. The, <clears throat> this came out in 2001. It's listed mainly as a citrus perfume. And the top notes are orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, bergamot. The middle notes are mimosa, Lang Lang, Turkish Rose, Jasmine, base notes are White Musk, Vetiver, Vanilla, Apomonix, Patchouli, Tonka Bean. There are a lot of orange things in here. This I always get compliments on. Always. It's one of my few perfumes that I can smell on myself throughout the day and it's so strong that other people can smell it on me too and they always ask what it is or they just tell me that I smell so good. So that's one of my favorite things about that perfume is just it's so long lasting and it's like I can actually smell it on myself. A lot of these perfumes I can't. My second perfume that I have here is the regular Coco Chanel. This I actually just recently got. The funny story about this is the very first time I had sprayed it on myself in store like two years ago, I absolutely hated it. My fiance hated it so much he had to walk away from me, but it lasted on my skin for like three days and I kept smelling it and smelling it and smelling it and like I grew to love it. And then I just never like looked for it again. It does kind of smell bad to be honest. It's definitely at first I don't like it. As it wears down I really like it but this is so strong and overpowering that it's honestly something that I only wear at home. It reminds me of a hair salon. I'm not sure why. Maybe like the smell of a perm which you wouldn't think is something you'd want to wear but Coco Chanel is from 1984. Its main accords are listed as balsamic and warm spicy. The top notes are Bulgarian rose, jasmine, peach, mandarin orange, coriander. Middle notes are rose, clover, orange blossom, cloves, mimosa. Base notes are civet, vanilla, upon nox, tonka bean, sandalwood, amber, labdanum. There's a lot of stuff I've never heard of in here. Um, there are a lot of like spices in here like cloves, coriander, so that makes sense why it's called warm spicy, and civet. The picture that was uh, listed with that was like a picture of like some kind of like lemur looking thing, so I had to look it up, okay? The odor profile of civet. It's the natural byproduct of the anal glands of exotic civet cats which smells very pungent and fecal, but which gives an amazing radiance and warmth to florals. It is now synthetically produced due to ethical reasons. Who ever thought, hey, let's take some of this rectal odor from this animal that smells fecal and put it in a really expensive perfume? I wanna know who thought of that. Viva la Juicy Sucre. I do not like the original Viva La Juicy. I just don't, but this one I love. It's very sweet. 
Um, at first it kind of reminded me of Pink Sugar, but I like this more than Pink Sugar. It's from 2016. Its top notes are red currant, mandarin orange, gardenia, middle notes, almond cream, peach, jasmine, orange blossom. Base notes are cacao, sandalwood, vanilla, whipped cream. So there's a lot of stuff in here that just makes it sound like a cupcake. While I was looking up all the perfumes that I have here, I noticed a lot of them have very similar notes, including a lot of orange, a lot of jasmine. But this I love. And look at that bottle. That bottle is so cute. It looks like a cupcake. I have Viva La Juicy Rosé, which is from 2015. And it does smell like a bubbly rose. And the bottle, again, the bottle, look at that shimmer. The top notes are jasmine, pear, mandarin orange, peony. Middle notes are jasmine, sembok, rose, Base and Broxen Benzoin Oris. I don't know what any of those last three words were that I said. Now, one that's been my most, this one was my most favorite for a while. This is Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. It came out in 2014. It's listed as a floral musky aquatic, which aquatic sounds like something weird to describe as a perfume, but I can actually see that. Its top notes are Neroli Papaya Flower, middle notes Water Lily Narcissus Amaryllis, Base notes, cashmere and musk. This is so, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It smells just so sophisticated. It doesn't smell like a pond or anything. These, I have a whole collection of Vera Wang flower princesses and I'm having such a hard time finding like, the newer ones. Even like Ulta doesn't have like anything from like 2016 on. This one I got because of Joe Jonas when I was like 16. This came out in 2006. This is Vera Wang Flower Princess. And I had read in a magazine that he liked Vera Wang Princess on girls the most. So I went and I got the lotion from Macy's. And then a couple years ago I went and I finally got the perfume and it brings back so many memories. It's incredible. It takes me back to being that age again. It's listed, it's main accords as a white floral citrus. The top notes are tangerine, water lily, ivy, middle notes, Moroccan rose, mimosa, jasmine, orange blossom. Base notes are precious woods, musk, amber, and apricot. So once again, there's a lot of orange in there and a lot of jasmine. Of course, I fell in love with the original Vera Wang Princess as well. This one, this one's much more sweet not really floral. This one came out in 2006. It's listed as sweet vanilla cacao. Its top notes are water lily, apple. I don't think I have any other ones with apple in it. Mandarin orange, apricot, middle notes, tiari flower, dark chocolate. Now that's a cool fragrance note. Guava, tuberose, base notes, woodsy, vanilla, amber. This, this is definitely sweeter, but it's But it's darker than this. Like this has, like you think of this as like whipped cream and you think of this as chocolate. That's kind of the difference between these two when it comes to the sweetness. Okie dokie. Now this one I fell in love with as soon as I used a little uh, sample spray. I went and bought it that day. This is Alien by Thierry Mugler, which today I actually found out is a man, not a woman. This one is super strong. It's super strong. I would definitely say it's probably not for everybody. I really like it. It lasts a really long time. It's very potent, but it's also like heavy kind of. I don't know. It has the least amount of notes out of any of my other perfumes, which is funny because I can't pick out anything specific in here. There's only three notes. Um, it's listed as white floral and amber, which I wouldn't think that this would be like the Dolce one at all. Top notes, Jasmine, go figure. Middle note, Woodsy, Base, Amber. That's it, that's all that's in here. And it's so simple, it's crazy. And this bottle, cute. And then another Terry Mugler, Angel. This is from 1992. This one has a lot more notes than the Alien one does. This one is also very strong and probably not for everybody. 
the main accords, they were all pretty even, uh, listed as patchouli, vanilla, warm, spicy, and balsamic. Its top notes are red berries, pineapple, bergamot, middle notes, nutmeg, caraway, base notes, sandalwood, praline, patchouli, vanilla, tonka bean. I could see the sweetness in here. Um, and again, another really cute bottle. There's so many different variations of Angel and Alien that I really wish I could just get them all, but they are expensive. All right, so my last one out of my top 10 favorite perfumes is Jimmy Choo Le U. This is from 2017. This one, as soon as I smelt it in a little travel size, I fell in love. It's very clean smelling. You can't use too much though. If you use too much, it gets like really strong and almost kind of irritating. It's listed as floral and fresh, which makes sense. Top notes, bergamot, hibiscus. I love hibiscus. Middle, peony, nectarine, base, musk, and cedar. The theme through here is orange, pretty much. Orange and jasmine. But yeah, these were my top 10 favorite fragrances. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you think I should do another a uh, full collection or if I should go collect some more before I do that because I love me some perfumes. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, thumbs up please. I'll link my other perfume related videos. Uh, have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye!